Hey, you guys um, may have chosen a link or had me share with you this sketch constraint sketch constraints document um, that I'm inside. Uh, if you open the comment panel, hopefully you'll see my comments here as well, or at least you'll have them in the video. I'm going to go into the sketch, and here's the idea. They are, I'm going to hit end for normal. Uh, it, in terms of my comments, they're kind of numbered going left to right and then down, so one, two, three, four. This video is intended to get you familiar with these tools up here, which are your, your geometric constraints. Now, if your window is smaller, then those constraints will all fall under this drop down instead of being uh, visible in the toolbar. Okay, and if your window is big enough, you may see all or some of them. All right, so let's go ahead and start messing around with them. The first one says make perpendicular. So this is the perpendicular tool. It'll get things to make a right angle. So I'm going to turn the tool on and then select the two line segments and it snaps to being perpendicular. If you click this show constraint box, then as you create these constraints, you'll also see these little uh, icons appear that show you created a relationship. Um, those, when you hover over it, it highlights what things were constrained and you can also right click and delete them. Okay, the next one says to make the lines parallel. This right here is the parallel tool. So I'm gonna make the first line parallel to the second line, and then I'll make the second line parallel to the third line. And things might kind of snap around on me. Let's do that again. Sometimes when you create these constraints, things move. So you gotta move them back. All right, the third one says, make one circle have a two inch diameter. So that's gonna use the dimensioning tool. So let's get myself a two inch diameter. Okay, it says, um, make one circle have two. fix centers of the other two. Okay, the fix tool is this one right here. So I'm gonna fix the centers of the other two. And then after that, we are gonna make these two that have fixed centers be tangent to the other circle, to the first one with the two inch diameter. So I'm gonna use the tangent tool, circle to circle. That means those two circles will touch in exactly one point. And then I'll make this circle tangent to that one. See how it adjusted so they touched in exactly one point. The fourth one says make the lines tangent to a circle. So you can make curves tangent to curves. You can also make lines tangent to curves. Like that. And notice the little symbols. Number five, it says make both segments have an endpoint coincident to the center of the circle. So the coincident constraint is right here. And it simply allows you to constrain a point onto some other piece of geometry. So whether it be uh, an arc, a curve, a line, or a point even. So a coincident constraint is just making those points share and kind of be stuck on top of each other. Uh, six, make the circles concentric. That means they have the same center, and that's this tool right here, concentric. I just simply turn the tool on and then choose the two circles that need to share a common center. I also could make the centers coincident. It'd be another way to do it. So if I can find the center point of a circle, and then another one, it's going to give me the same effect, but a different tool. So I can use the concentric tool, or I could use coincident form the centers. Um, number seven says, make the lines collinear. So they have to be the same line. Well, um, this one is um, a little harder. I can make them, I, I don't have an actual like collinear tool, but I can make them parallel to start, okay? And then the other thing I could do is I could use the coincident tool and say one of the points on say one of the line segments has to be a point on the line. And I know that's a line segment, but line segments represent the lines that continue forever, in which case they become collinear. The next one says to make the lines horizontal. We have both horizontal and vertical tools right here. So I'm gonna use the horizontal tool and simply click on the line and the next line, and that's it. Um, this video, or this, these instructions are gonna have to be broken into two videos since I'm about out of time.